We are in southwestern Ontario today and we are at a bungalow farmhouse. We did a kitchen renovation here and it just so happens that it's also the house I grew up in and it's my parents' kitchen. It's just home to me. So they were the ones that we want to do the kitchen, what should we do? And I was like, if you're serious about it, I'll help you. <laughs> It was very dark before. It was oak cabinetry, brass hardware, the really dark brass hardware. They just wanted to lighten it up, so I really kind of talked them into a painted kitchen, actually. They were still wondering about doing a stained wood, but I explained we don't have to go full white. We can go with just a nice cream color and then adding in the island in a slightly darker color. So we brought in some different textures that way and just gave them that look that they wanted without going with stained wood cabinetry. We definitely did a lot of customization in terms of the actual cabinets. Because we kept the original footprint, I really wanted to spruce it up with a little bit of extras. So my mom does a lot of baking, so we have the mixer lift that comes up out of the cabinet so she doesn't have to physically move the mixer. We have a lot of corner units, so we have a kidney-shaped corner unit that houses all of her baking bowls. We have a magic corner unit that pulls out and has their, you know, saran wrap, things like that that they need to access on a daily basis. The whole corner pulls out for it. We have a lot of pot drawers that are customized and then we have an entire pantry. It has pullouts in it that are all customized to the small appliances they had, to the food that they had, and everything that they want to store in there. It was really important for myself, for my parents, to use someone local. And there's such good tradesmen here and there's, you know, cabinet makers, everyone. We worked with Graves Construction. He is a local contractor to the area, as well as Pioneer Kitchens, which did all of our cabinetry for us as well. And they did a fantastic job. The cabinetry actually stopped a little bit shorter, so the kitchen was a little bit smaller. So we just extended it out to give them a bigger pantry and also to accommodate for the 36 inch fridge because that's about six inches bigger than what they had. We did all new appliances here. We wanted to do stainless steel just to modernize it. We did a bigger fridge, so we did the LG 36 inch fridge, which is counter depth, which is great. It doesn't stick out into the room. And then we did a new gas stove for them. They had electric before, so we were able to do gas and then the matching dishwasher as well from LG. We ended up going with this antique ceramic tile because it just has a nice little flow, gives a little bit of depth, and I think it just makes everything pop a little bit. I really wanted to keep the oak trim. So the oak trim is actually throughout the entire house. And so we don't want to start changing all of that. All the interior doors match as well. So I really wanted to do that painted kitchen again, instead of a stained kitchen, and then just have the touches of the oak, which then also tie in their furniture that they have as well, which is antique. The kitchen did not have an island before, so to talk them into an island was a little bit of a struggle, but I wanted to create something that had legs, looked more like a piece of furniture, not so much that typical island that you would sit at and gather around. My mom does a lot of baking, so the island is two inches lower than the rest of the cabinetry because my mom is, as she would call herself, vertically challenged and <laughs> is a little bit shorter. So this is actually made for her height and we matched the same countertop as the rest of the kitchen so that she can have flour on it, roll dough, all that kind of stuff. So it's really customized to her and how she's gonna use it. We definitely wanted to keep the country kitchen vibe, so we actually did things like the beadboard. So on the island, there's a little bit of beadboard. We mimicked it on the range hood. So that's kind of how we brought it in without making it too country. The kitchen was actually original to the house. So they built this house about 45 years ago from scratch, which I think is why the layout worked really well for them. Honestly, this was so amazing. I'm so happy to be able to do it for them and I'm happy that they put their trust in me. I think setting those boundaries of just, you know, nine to five, ask me whatever you want. After that, you're, uh, you're mom and dad. <laughs>